I will say this. My people did a good job of making sure mental. Well, I ain't gonna say mentally, but just making sure I was okay. But like my dad was him. Like he, you know, now that I, I'm older, like I understand what came with the repercussions of what, what you do. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, like we was a young family in Bankhead Court with Tip. Tip, Tip never stayed in the Bankhead Court. Let's mm -hmm. put that out for the records. But so T.I. never stayed in Bankhead. I, I've never seen T.I. But you seen Charlie Lowe? Shot low, stayed in Boy Home. <laughs> R.I.P. Shot low, yeah, I love him. Man, I, I love Tip too. I, I love Tip too. I ain't too. trying to like shoot over, no shots. He all but over the uh, I'm talking about like some real shit. So we moved from there, and then we went to Boat Rock. Um, to me, Boat Rock and Techwood was Vietnam. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One On One. Yeah, we gonna talk. Check it, man. We got a guy here today. He don't need no introduction. This guy right here been busy, man. His whole career, man. We watched him. Really, we watched him evolve. We watched him. We got inspired by him at nah, times. Nah, watched me f up. Too. No, we watched that too. All over we shit. got him. We got we we got all different angles, man. Adam Pac, man, Jones in the building. What's up, my boy? <laughs> ECO in the building. Man, how you doing, Mr. Jamaica? Jamaica? What's up? Like, nah, thank y'all nah. for having me, man. man. No, thank you, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, when 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 uh, I first got the call that I could interview the really the famous to me, man, because I always respected you. I'm a I, I come from a real dark background, you know. So to see you excel and come through all the stuff you came through, just been dope to watch, really. And a lot of people counted you out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But they you still here. Though. You yeah. still standing like Antoine Fisher around this thing. Mm -hmm. you know what I don't saying? know who the hell Antoine Fisher is, but <laughs> that doesn't hopefully it's, uh, it's a good comparable. Dude. You're a good dude. You're a good dude. Let's get to it, Mr. And Drake. the crazy thing, I'm not a football fanatic, but just studying your story, I fell in love with your story. I'm telling you that right now. But anyway, so you were born and raised in Atlanta? Yeah. West Side, Bankhead, Bow Rock. Okay. Um, just to give y'all a little insight, like I'm a young kid. What young kid? I was a young kid from Atlanta. Um, stayed in Bankhead when I first grew up. My dad got killed right in front of me. How old were you when he? I was seven years old, seven. and then my grunt like so. My whole family stayed in Bankhead. But how like, did that affect you when you actually saw that happen at seven years old? Oh, it affected me a lot. But like, I will say this: my people did a good job of. Making sure mental, well, I ain't gonna say mentally, but just making sure I was okay. But like, my dad was him. Like he, you know, now that I, I'm older, like I understand what came with the repercussions of what what you do. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, like we was a young family in Bankhead Court with Tip. Tip, Tip never stayed in the Bankhead Court. Let's mm -hmm. put that out for the <laughs> records. But so Ti never stayed in Bankhead. I, I've never seen Ti. But you seen Shawty Lowe? Shot low, stayed in Boy Home. <laughs> R.I.P. Shot low, yeah, I love, man, I love Tip him. too. I, I love Tip too. I ain't too. trying to like, all shoot over, no shots, he all over the uh, I'm talking about like, some real shit. So we moved from there, and then we went to Boat Rock. Um, to me, Boat Rock and Techwood was Vietnam. Wow. That's the best way I can put it. Like, if you go back and look at what projects they shut down first, and then you can understand what happened in the projects when they shut them down. Like both of those, like they brought the whole national task force in and raided every apartment at the same time. Wow. So I'm talking about like 3,200 apartment, 3,200 apartments, four motherfuckers that was in every apartment. Mm. So like, and that ain't nothing to boost a brag about, but like the shit was crazy, like how we grew up, but like that was normal life to me. I'm like, oh yeah, shit, this shit happened every day, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, I had a chance to realize, like, where it's more than life to this, way more. How did you figure that out? So I was really good at sports. Mm -hmm. uh, football. From a young age? Yeah, I've How always- How old were you when you started? So I started at five. At five. Um, I was shitty as hell my first year, no lie. Mm. But my second year. Had 32 touchdowns. Wow. wow. In 10 games. Dang. I averaged 22. I'm talking about, like, I was really good. So you had a revenge. At six? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm getting chills right now. Like, because my son, my son doing the same shit right now. Like, I got three kids. My 
oldest daughter, she going to Mississippi State tonight. Shout out to tonight. Mm -hmm. Getting big, big pay. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Trent, she's up next. She won state this year. Um, we ain't run nationals because I don't want to tire out. That's my Your my decision. decision. Okay. Not hers because if it was her decision, she, she would did. run. Okay. Um, and then I got Junior. Junior is the number one player in the country right now. Six U football, wow. basketball, soccer, whatever you fucking name. He he he. It. You get That's what I'm saying? Up. So, um, God is good, bro, and. The gene thing is really real. Mm -hmm. Like, where did you get it from? My mom. My so mom. So your mom was so an athlete. My, my mom was going to the Olympics. Really? And she did not go to the Olympics for track and field. Track and field. Mm. She chose to have me. I was like, that was a dumb decision, mom. <laughs> it really? was. You wouldn't be here if that. I know, but like, being selfish, like. And she was I was going to fill out, fill out my dream. That's me personally. And like, right. love my mama to death. Shout out to Debbie Jones. Debbie Actually, Jones. she's went, she she going through some stuff right now. We going to be all right, though. We got a little cancer that's going on over there. But wow. stay positive. You hear me? But yeah, but she was like, shit. Nah, not doing that. I'm having my son. So my mom was had the record in the 200 and the 400. Wow. Um, and she chose to have me instead of fucking going trying out for the Olympics. So that was big. But like, that's how I got huge. That's how I got most of this athletic ability. And my dad was a dog, bro. He, he, you don't have a picture of him, but like this nigga used to walk around in the project with boxing gloves around his neck. Like he was an animal. Mm, so like, fighter. yeah, no. <laughs> The other one, but I ain't gonna say that <laughs> on here. But yeah, but we got good genes. I will say that, and even my wife, like my wife, got great genes. She was a track star too. Wow. So yeah. So you just they love got athletes good. all I'm, around you. I'm really like athlete or music. Like mm. my daughter just did a song. Both of them. Mm. My youngest daughter just did a song. First time in the studio. Wow. And my oldest daughter, her and her friends. So. They got a team of four of them, and they won the four by one. They won the four by two, and won the four by four. They all going to Mississippi State. That's all. That's and they all. getting paid. You hear me? Sixty k. You know what I mean? Or better. Yeah, yeah. Per year. Man, praise so God. So like, man. you look at that, bro. You be like, damn. I definitely didn't get that when I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Sixty k to go. To school. Hold on. You give me a full ride to go to the SEC and pay me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.